Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Imagine you have a book with 34 pages, and you have another book with 26 pages, and you want to know which book has more pages. Well, we need to look at the two numbers and decide which one is bigger and which one is smaller. And this is called comparing numbers. When we compared numbers, we checked to see which one has the bigger amount and which has the smaller amount. And we can use some mighty symbols to help us compare. These symbols are greater than, less than, and equal to. Do you recognize any of them? Equal to is the same as the equal sign. We use this to show that two amounts are the same. If, for example, 12 is equal to 12. Greater than and less than look like little mouths. You can imagine that they're the mouths of an alligator. And all alligators like to eat, so it always eats the bigger number. And when I say the bigger number, I don't mean the size of the number is bigger. I mean that it's more than the other number. Let's see how that works. Now, an alligator has to choose between eating 18 fish or eating 12 fish. Because 18 is more than 12, it'll choose to eat 18 fish. It'll face the number 18 and open its mouth and stop. Its mouth looks like the greater than symbol, doesn't it? We can say this out loud as 18 is greater than 12. Well, how about between 10 and 17 fish? Now the alligator has to choose. Should he eat 10 fish or 17 fish? Well, alligators love fish. And 10 fish is less than 17 fish. So the alligator will choose to eat 17 fish. It'll face the number 17, open its mouth, and stop. Now its mouth looks like the less than symbol. And we can read this as 10 is less than 17. Now let's dive in and compare some numbers together using these mighty symbols. Don't forget to face the open mouth towards the bigger number and then read it using these words. Greater than, less than, or equal to. You have 20 oranges and 16 bananas. Which symbol should we put? Because 20 is more than 16, face the open mouth towards the 20. That's the greater than symbol. Greater than is another way to say more than, like 8 is greater than 6. Good choice. Uh, let's get back to the books, though. One book has 34 pages and the other has 26 pages. Which book has more pages? We can use a place value chart to help us. A place value chart shows us how many tens and ones a number has. Uh, let's put the numbers 34 and 26 in a place value chart. Just like when you read a book, you go left to right. First, compare the tens. The number 34 has three tens. The number 26 has two tens. Three tens is more than or greater than two tens. Because tens are worth more than ones, we don't even need to compare the ones place. 34 is greater than 26. This book has fewer pages, and this book has more pages. Now Latifa wants to do some arts and crafts, and she has two boxes of popsicle sticks. She wants to know which box has more popsicle sticks. This box has 75 popsicle sticks, and the other box has 78 popsicle sticks. Yeah. Both these numbers have the number 7 in them, so how can we tell which one is bigger? Well, we can use a place value chart to help us. Let's put the numbers 75 and 78 in a place value chart. Just like when you read a book, go from left to right. First, compare the tens. The number 75 has seven tens, and the number 78 also has seven tens. 
Because 7 tens is equal to 7 tens, the tens can't help us figure out which number is bigger. So we're going to need to compare the ones. The number 75 has 5 ones. And the number 78 has 8 ones. Well, 5 ones is less than 8 ones. So the numbers 75 and 78 both have 7 tens, but 75 has fewer ones than 78. And that means that 75 is less than 78. So this box with 75 has fewer popsicle sticks, and this box with 78 has more popsicle sticks. But let's make sure we really got the hang of this by comparing a few more numbers using these symbols. Look at these ladybugs and bees. We have 51 ladybugs and 41 bees. First, we're going to compare the tens. Five tens is more than four tens, so we know that 51 is greater than 41. And we'll use the greater than symbol. And look over here, we have 12 pairs of pants and 16 shirts. If we want to know which is more, we should compare the tens first. 110 is equal to 110. And so we're going to have to move on over to the ones. 2 is less than 6. And that means that 12 is less than 16, so we need to use the less than symbol. And last but not least, let's check out what's in this bag. Awesome! 90 plastic balls. Oh, and in this bag, 90 rubber balls. So if we're going to compare them, which symbol should we use? Because 90 and 90 are the same number, we need to use the equal to symbol. 90 is equal to 90. And there you go, that's your answer. Now let's sum up what we've learned today. We learned about three symbols that can tell us whether a number is bigger, smaller, or equal to another number. And those symbols are greater than, less than, and equal to. The greater than and less than symbols look like an alligator mouth. And remember, the mouth always faces the bigger number. If a number has two digits, use a place value chart to compare them. First, compare the tens. And if the tens are different, the number with more tens is the bigger number. But if the tens are the same, move on over to compare the ones. The number with more ones would then be the bigger number. You did a great job today comparing mighty numbers. See you next time.